so screwed for this quiz on SI history. I mean, how am I even supposed to know some of these things? How am I supposed to know what the first ever class to have to take the JWE twice was? How am I supposed to know what the first ever class to lose to the juniors in the powder puff game was? How am I supposed to know what the first ever class to not participate in senior assassin was? Ah, oh, this is impossible. SI history, huh? Well, I've got good news in terms of years that you need to memorize, but bad news in terms of how much you have to memorize. I mean, I've been studying like 2023 and 2025. Do you have any tips? I mean, first of all, you missed the biggest one. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. I actually need to do well on this. I, I think you need to go see the elder then. The, the elder? Who's that? You don't know who the elder is? No. I, you're failing SI history. You don't know who the elder is. Everyone knows who the elder is. Do you even go here? I mean, yeah, I think I do. Can you just tell me who it is? Who is the elder? Legend has it, after they demolished the old campus, the deans trapped one student to live on campus forever. The deans chose this student because they were involved in almost every single activity the school had to offer. My sources even say the elder helped Olivia Eggert form the bowling club during his time at SI. Who even knew that existed? Anyways, now the elder lurks around campus, forced to answer students' questions about SI history for all of eternity. So you're saying every student actually knows about this elder? I mean, yeah, they should. I mean, I'm reading all of this information directly out of the SI handbook. And according to your sources, how many people actually read this handbook? Good point. And how do I reach this elder? What classroom did he teach in? It says here, uh, the best mentors often don't exist in the physical world. I guess that it does explain a lot about Dr. Gamble. Anyway, uh, oh, here. In order to commune with the elder, students must find his long hidden office. I knew that was a stupid idea. Stupid Jake and his stupid plans. Stupid elder, stupid SI history. Did somebody say SI history? No way, are you the elder? No, I'm Father Reese. Who else would I be? Of course I'm the elder. Wait, how did living at SI give you a British accent? Anyways, can you please help me learn about SI history? My test is tomorrow. So you need to do well on your SI history test. There's so much SI history now that this has become one of the most difficult classes in the school. Right above Calculus BC and right below Mr. Rodriguez's Faith Film and Fiction class. They say that experience is the key to memory. What do you know about time travel? Nothing. Well, actually, um, my great-grandfather and I once watched Back to the Future together. You know, he told me that he was convinced that he had time travel powers just because he had the ability to skip through classes. You know, I didn't have the heart to tell him that it just sounded like he was sleeping through Mr. Cody's religion class. Oh, your great-grandfather, R. of Penamarthy. He was definitely one of the... Well, he was definitely one of... He was definitely one of the men of all time. You know we were salutatorians together, right? For the class of 2024. <clears throat> okay, Boomer. Excuse me? Nothing, nothing. Wait, so you and my great-grandfather really went to school together? And how did they get you stuck doing this job? Let me tell you, I have no idea why I was chosen. I mean, I really didn't do that much during my time at SI. I mean, here it says all that you were involved in was SI Live, leading Kairos, participating in Immersion, leading Wildcat Nation, leading Big Cast, joining Student Council, and playing football. What does this have to do with SI history? Well, I'm, I'm gonna take you back in history so you can experience SI history firsthand. We're gonna time travel? Are you sure the answers aren't just on Quizlet or something?
Yep, we are definitely in 2020. All right, Arv, what are you doing? And put your mask on, it's 2020. What happened to your robe? And what am I wearing? Well, when you time travel, you take on the clothes of the time that you've traveled to. So you're wearing right now the typical 2020 freshman year fit. So what even happened in this year? Well, as you know, your great grandfather and I started our freshman year over Zoom. For the entire year, none of us were on campus at the same time, and we weren't really able to connect with each other. That must have been so hard. No, actually, I would just wake up two minutes before class started, uh, put on Father Stiegler's Zoom as background noise, and Google all the answers to my biology test, so it wasn't really that hard. Oh, word. Ah, uh, yes. The owls. I haven't seen one of these in a hundred years. Rumor has it the school spent about a thousand dollars each on these. A thousand dollars? What is it? Some type of high-tech hologram teaching technology? Uh, not exactly. It's, it's like a, th a 360 camera, but way worse. Essentially, it showed you your class and probably the worst video and audio you've ever seen, cropped and stretched and all of that. It really emulated that physical classroom feel where you could see all your classmates having fun at school while you were rotting in bed at home. That sounds horrible. It wasn't great. Huh. I just got an email from the deans. My best friend's math seat partner's pre-cal teacher's son just tested positive for COVID. I got a warning advisory. What? I have to stay out of school for two weeks? What's COVID? Let's get out of here. Stop doing that. What are you doing? Sorry. But look, I'm leveling up. Check the t-shirt. Yep, this is definitely sophomore year. Let me see that. So what happened this year? Our sophomore year was pretty much like the worst version of the freshman year we never had. It felt good to go to our first real Bruce Mahoney, but it didn't feel as good to wear masks and social distance the entire time. I mean, surely it wasn't all bad. At least you guys could hang out with each other and meet each other for the first time. That is true. I'll miss those unauthorized gatherings. It's a good thing the deans put a stop to those and really set our class on the right path. Oh man, I got the Wordle in six. Oh, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. Let me see your phone. What you gotta do is delete the squares. Damn. I'm just too good at Wordle, I guess. Crazy guess. Thanks, man. Anyways, tell me more about this year. Follow me. Towards the end of the year, the mask mandate was finally lifted. We started to come together as a class in a way we hadn't really in the first few years. We started to join new teams, join new activities, meet new people. It was really nice and it was definitely what we needed. Mr. Evans, what are you doing here? What? Oh, hey, Matt. Ooh, I gotta get to the turkey. How, how did you get here? What? Where are my pants? Yep, we are definitely in junior year. You see this, Arv? This is a relic, a piece of history, something you will never see again, a collectible. What is it? The last ever take home essay. After the invention of ChatGPT, the JWE incident, and many conversations between disappointed ethics and English teachers alike, SI made the decision to get rid of take home essays forever. Gone were the days when you could never read a book and just chuck the prompt into ChatGPT. <laughs> I'm here for you, man. I sold these from 2020 for you. Also gone were the days when you could just write an entire essay based on quotes you found on Sparknotes. <laughs> I'll never forget that. So you and my great-grandfather really went to school when AI was first being developed? It must have really shifted the way that you approached your junior year. Now you're really starting to sound like some of my English teachers. Anyway, aside from AI, junior year saw a lot of people transitioning into new, more authentic versions of themselves. For a lot of us, now that we were upperclassmen, it felt like the first time that we really belonged in the SI community. Not to mention you guys also had your own junior prom. That's so sick. It must have been so fun. Yeah, it was fun. And separate from the class of 2025. 
What cult do they represent? That's no cult. What you're seeing there is the profound influence of Father Greg Boyle on SI. Greg Boyle? Who is that? No way, I got his autograph. He's got his autograph. I got his autograph. Bro, that's crazy. crazy. It was yeah, crazy. That's that's crazy. Weird. Wow. Just the margins, <laughs> like, <laughs> beyond, beyond, the margins. beyond the margins. <laughs> well, okay, picture a little bit of Jesus, and a little bit of St. Ignatius, and then sprinkle in a little bit of Mr. Lannon. That is Greg Boyle. Wow, he must have been an amazing guy. Definitely some influential stuff. Anyway, we should be on our way now. Next year. Will you quit doing that? Oh my god. I got my pants back. Yep. Definitely, Definitely senior, senior year. year. Oh, they just emailed us some pictures from freshman year. Let me look. These are really the same people? Are you sure? Well, yes, this is the same class of 2024. But in many ways, these aren't the same people. At the beginning of high school, even at the beginning of senior year, everything seems so far away. In August, college decisions were pressing, but they were distant. People had been telling us for years that it was so important to not take your last year of high school for granted. But I don't think a lot of people actually comprehended what that meant. But soon enough, we would attend our last Bruce Mahoney, participate in our last Mass of the Holy Spirit, be caught trying to sneak past the deans out of dress code for the final time, or eat our final commons lunch. So you're saying that senior year changed a lot of people? I think that people grow in senior year in ways they wouldn't have anticipated. You begin to miss things and appreciate things that you didn't think you would. I get it now. A senior in August believes they have such a long marathon to run and can't wait for it to finish. These seniors, in May, right after their last week of school, have finished the marathon. And maybe a little part of them wishes they could have looked up along the run and appreciated their surroundings before the race was over. Exactly.
So, do you feel ready for your test? Yeah, thank you. That was actually so helpful. The Elder will now return to eternal slumber until he is woken again by a lost soul's plea. I mean, I guess there is one thing that I'm still confused about. Where... Where did he go? In SI's previous campus, where was the pool located? Oh, free points. What? The fourth floor?